Hey guys, if you've ever played any video games in your life, you know one franchise. That's Madden. Right now, EA is launching Madden 64. Ah, just kidding, it's like 16 at this point. But as we looked at video games for the year, something really strange popped into our collective minds. Why do people keep buying Madden? Over the course of the entire franchise, the formula really hasn't changed other than some cosmetic, some tutorials, and practices. The formula has stayed the same. Pick a play, advance further down the field. But why? As Voss from Far Cry 3 said, is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. Is that really true? Today on the New Age Gamers, we're gonna ask that question. Why buy men? First off, let's look at how popular Madden is from 2000 to 2016. Right now, Madden has sold over 100 million copies of their games. Whoa, that's a lot, even for 16 years. Now, what if I told you that the reason you like to play is because you want to be Julius Peppers, or Walter Payton, or Eli Manning? Well, maybe Madden preys on your envy of being the best in the game. Taking control of Tom Brady and feeling the fake sense of success when you get a touchdown, it's exhilarating, you know, being the puppet master, especially against your own friends. We have a friend who always says, I have Clay Matthews on my team, which in our language means we're about to get dominated. We're sure you have a friend like that that says something similar. You feel a sense of power and triumph, actually thinking you are out in the fray performing when you're really just sitting on the couch. But let me give you more reliable information. It's 4 a.m., the sun is rising, and you have to be at school in only four hours. Your palms are sweating, and you're too scared to blink. The score is 14-14. Ten seconds left on the clock, and it's fourth down. You press the X button, and it all becomes a blur of character models. You see your receiver, you throw, and they start running. They break a tackle, they hurdle over another player, and finally, touchdown! You win. Now, let me just explain to you what just happened on a physiological level. You are under stress to win, so your body releases the stress hormones cortisol and epinephrine. At the end, when it's only 14-14, your body releases even more of these hormones. When the play starts, your breathing increases, your eyes bug out because you feel endangered. And then, finally, the touchdown. You take a sigh of relief, and you feel good about yourself. That feeling is the release of dopamine. Dopamine is described as a catecholamine neurotransmitter in the central nervous system, retina, and sympathetic ganglia. Acting within the brain to help regulate movement and emotion it is also called the feel-good hormone. While dopamine is natural, it can also be abused. This compound is also what gets people addicted to drugs and gambling. Certain drugs, after being taken, releases excess amounts of dopamine after the initial use. The body then craves that level of dopamine again. The body doesn't crave the drugs, it craves that feeling. If you don't crave men, you crave the feeling it gives you. So before you grab your torches and pitchforks and march to EA's door, which is really just actually, why aren't people capitalizing on this? You know, making the next Madden. Doing some research, we found that EA spends around 50 million a year to ensure that EA is the only company that can use NFL superstars in their video games, along with an extra 2 million a year to just to use John Madden's name. But in all honesty, with 100 million people addicted, you could probably get away with calling it pretty kitty football and still make millions. EA has a stranglehold on the football franchise and won't let go anytime soon because of the excitement and addiction that these games provide. And on that enlightening note, this is the New Age Gamers wishing you a great day.